There's a hidden feature in your Mini 4 Pro that you may not know about. Cruise Control. In this video, we'll take a look at how to find, enable, and use this great feature. Let's get to it! Hi, Todd from Blue Marble Videos here. We're on the banks of the Bow River on a scorching hot day in beautiful southern Alberta, Canada today to take a look at how to enable and use a really useful and powerful feature of your Mini 4 Pro, Air 3, and a few other DJI drones. Cruise Control. Now, this isn't quite like the cruise control in your 1958 Cadillac. As you can readily see, the Cadillac motor car for 1958 is a rare masterpiece in all the things that make a Cadillac a Cadillac. This is much more powerful and useful. If you've ever attempted complicated shots from your drone, filming while trying to use several control inputs all at the same time to get a smooth and interesting shot, you know the frustration this can bring. Maybe you're doing an ascending shot while yawing to the left, strafing to the right, and moving backwards slowly all while trying to keep your gimbal pointed at some interesting feature you're trying to film. That's five simultaneous control inputs. Trying to keep them all at the optimal levels and keep them silky smooth for good video is not something that's particularly easy. Fortunately, now you don't have to do that. Now you can set all of these except for the gimbal and the drone software will handle this for you. All you need to do is focus on the one remaining control and that's your gimbal up down to keep your object in frame. The thing is, this feature isn't obvious, it's kind of hidden away and you have to enable it and tie it to one of your controller's buttons in order to make use of it. So first, let's take a look at how to get this feature available for easy use for you, then we'll take a look at how it works. What you need to do is bind one of your controller's buttons to this cruise control function. Tap the three dots in the upper right hand corner of your controller screen to get into the menu. From there, select the control tab. Then scroll down to button customization and select that by tapping on it. Here, you can set what all of the settable controls do. Personally, I suggest attaching the cruise control to your C2 button, but the choice is yours. The reason I choose this is that is set by default to portrait landscape mode to change your camera from one to the other, but you can already do this by tapping on the relevant icon on your screen, so having this attached to both the icon and this button is unneeded. Instead, tap the selection field for the C2 button, then select the control tab in the pop-up dialog, then scroll down to cruise control and tap that to select it. Tap the left arrow to back out of this setting, then tap out of your menu. You're done. Cruise control is enabled and ready to use. To use it, all that's needed is to get your drone in the air. Get it flying the way you want in terms of your stick inputs, such as altitude change, forward or backward, and how fast, yaw left and right, and strafe left and right, and tap your C2 button, and cruise control will be enabled, as you can see by this icon on your screen. Hold it. Nah, don't do that. That's still too complicated. I mean, sure, you can do it that way if you want, and despite what I just said, sometimes that's the best and easiest way to get the drone moving the way you want automatically. But the beauty of this function is that you don't have to fiddle around with the perfect amount of all inputs simultaneously to engage it. You can stack these inputs. So, instead, you can do it this way. Start with any single input, let's say altitude. We'll begin to gradually ascend. While ascending, tap your C2 button. Cruise control will enable, as indicated by the message on your screen right there, and the drone will keep smoothly ascending at the rate you selected. Now, you can add some yaw to the left. Start turning slightly left and tap C2 again. You'll notice the message Cruise Control updated, and now your drone is ascending and turning smoothly. 
Now do this for, say, strafe right. Start adding some right sideways movement and tap again. Now this is added. Then you can add some forward or backwards motion. Now we have a smoothly ascending or descending drone while turning gradually, moving sideways gradually, and moving slowly forwards or backwards all at the same time. All that's left for you to do is keep the gimbal up down movement where you want it nice and smooth. One control to worry about instead of five. Now to be clear you don't have to set this up in the order I just said. You can add or change any input at any time in any order. To cancel cruise control just tap the C2 button without touching any of the control sticks. Otherwise it'll add or adjust that input to the existing setting. Or tap the icon on the screen. Or tap the pause button on your controller. This should help you smooth out some of those complex shots. It's a feature that I thought was a bit gimmicky when I first heard about it. And it's one of those things that despite my first thoughts, I've changed my mind on and find I now use it all the time because it's so useful and effective. That's it for cruise control. Let me know your experiences, thoughts, ideas, and questions in the comments below. I hope this video helped you out. Now, if you wouldn't mind helping me out a bit by tapping those buttons down there, it would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy flying, and we'll see you next time.